you did against Providence? Um, really, just look forward to keep winning. Um, that was a, that was a must win for us. We needed that game, and now we got another must win. Uh, Notre Dame coming here tomorrow. One of the hottest teams in the league, and we really just need to come out here and do what we do. It was pretty close to being a loss. I mean, you guys said that you needed your confidence to go back up. I mean, even in a close game like that, is that something that can just make you feel better about yourselves going forward? Definitely. A win can always make you feel better, no matter how how it goes. I mean, we won the game, so, I mean, it just made us feel a lot better now. We're just in here working and just trying to get better, and um, we've got a tough team coming in here tomorrow night. Have you taken a look at what Notre Dame's accomplished lately? I mean, they've beaten the number one and number two teams in the league. Put that in perspective, kind of the role that they're on right now. <laughs> they're on a, a role, a good role at that. They number two in the league, probably. I think right now, seven and they seven and three, seven and three in the league. I mean, they beat some quality teams, and um, they just we know that coming in that they're a tough team and that they want to hold the ball, and um, that's just something that we don't want them to do. Notre Dame has lost the last three times they've played more than ten. Is that just a coincidence, or is there something about this place? I mean, we've we've been pretty successful against uh, Notre Dame, but. Then again, that's the past. It's this, this is now, and um, just, they're a different team. They're a different team than they, than they have been in the past. So, I mean, we're a different team too. So, it, we just gotta come out here ready to play. What about their guards? That's oh, their their guards. It seems like both of them can shoot really well. Yeah, they could. Um, Atkins and, and Grant. So, we know they're two tough covers, and that's just somebody that we those two we gotta stop them. Mm -hmm. How impressed are you with, with Notre Dame and the fact that, you know, a few games into the season they lose their best player and here they are, you know, the top four in the league still? That's, that's tough. Yeah. That's tough for a team to do, any team to do. That's tough for any team to do. I mean, leading score already, best player. But at the end of the day, I, I like what they have done as a unit um, to keep winning and one of the best, to be one of the best teams in the league and just picking it up in um, college. Hey, Coley looks like Aaron Gary. Definitely. I think he kind of resembles him, but I mean, <laughs> he plays hard. Yeah. I'm going to say he's better than Harry but he definitely played harder than Harry Gordy. How much does this team need to grow up in the freshman class going down the final stretch of the season? They got to grow up quick. I mean, they, they've been doing a great job of that, though, been getting better, asking questions, starting to finally learn plays. So, I mean, I mean, it's just, it's just good to see that. And um, I think that we're starting to gel as a team. Chuck Jabari didn't get uh, as many minutes as he probably generally does in this last game. What was Gary doing that worked for him, and, and what are the, really the differences when you just got one or the other on the court rather than both of them at the same time? I mean, honestly, I feel comfortable with both of them on the court, but um, I guess Jabari wasn't doing what coach wanted him to do, so he kind of sat him out the game a little bit. But at the end of the day, Jabari's a huge piece of this team, and we will need him to play well in order to us to win games too. Truck, how do you approach the rest of the season? Because most likely you guys win four games, you got a great chance of making it to the NCAA tournament. Well, I mean, us and the freshmen definitely got not different concepts, but me and KJ know this is the last uh, last seven games of regular season. So I mean, we, we got to come out here and bring it every, every game, and we just got to get the, the freshmen to know that this is kind of an urgency mark for our NCAA tournament. Truck, when you play 40 minutes a game, you score 20 points. One basket every four minutes. It sounds easy. How hard? I mean, it's hard. It's hard, especially in the Big East. I mean, they, they know what you're going to do. Every team knows what you're going to do. Every, every team scouts, watch tapes. So, I mean, it, it's rough to score 20 or something some nights. And, I mean, sometimes it's easy if you get hot. Right. What can, what can you say about Kevin having nine of them? That's just dominating. That right there is just playing dominating. I mean, he's just been doing a great job getting the ball in places where he can score. We've been finding him. I mean, he's just been making shots. Both of the you have to be on every one of those games. I mean, no, not even because I wasn't on versus Marshall. I still finished the game. Right. With, I still finished the game with 20. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's rough sometimes. But I mean, that's just something that a team need from me and um, KJ. Right. Can you explain what First half, they came out. They just totally dominated. They got transition buckets every time. Every time down the court. And, Second half, I think we did a better job of slowing them down and um, doing what we're doing. Us making, um, us as a team making plays. How about individually? I mean, just got hot, really. Just got hot. Just got in the groove of the game and just got, just got hot. I mean, that, when I get hot, it's probably it's going to be a long night for somebody.